Unit 4, Lesson 23. Where do gray whales travel in the winter? Expresarán características de animales en forma plural. Hola chicos. En la lección anterior aprendimos a utilizar tú y dos para hacer preguntas sobre las características y actividades de nuestro amigo el ocelote. No olviden que el auxiliar tú se utiliza cuando hablamos de varios animales, mientras que el auxiliar dos se emplea para hablar de un solo animal como especie. Veamos. You don't know anything about the animals. Listen to what this book says. Ocelots are wild cats. They live in South and Central America and Mexico. They are tawny yellow or grayish coat dotted and striped with black. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, I have some questions, Mr. Smarty. Do ocelots hunt at night? Yes, they do. They are nocturnal animals. Mm -hmm. Do ocelots climb trees? Yes, they do. During the day, they rest in trees or other dense foliage. Do ocelots mm -hmm. eat any type of meat? No, they don't. They only eat deer, reptiles, and amphibians. Mm -hmm. Do ocelots eat crocodiles? Mm -hmm. No, they don't. They eat lizards, turtles, and frogs. Mm -hmm. Does their color give camouflage? Yes, it does. Their fur is excellent camouflage in the jungle. Do you know that the ocelot is an endangered species? Yes, I do know. Hundreds of thousands of ocelots were once killed for their fur. So sad. Incredible! Two pandas like soy meat. <coughs> no, they don't. Pandas mm. eat bamboo and leaves. But they are classified as carnivores. Can you believe it? Ah, do pandas eat meat? No, they don't. Well, almost never. A panda's diet is almost exclusively bamboo. Hmm. Maybe I am a panda, not an ocelot. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, chicos. El día de hoy vamos a aprender a hablar en plural de algunos animales y la importancia de estos en nuestro ecosistema. Vamos a ver. <laughs> What a wonderful morning. Mm -hmm. It's so peaceful and the birds are singing so beautifully. Yes, you're right, Miss Rose. They sing very beautifully. And I love canaries. They are small and yellow. They live in the trees just like Taijari. <laughs> Except for the noise. Macaws are very noisy birds, but they're very colorful. Mm -hmm. They're scarlet and have blue feathers. <coughs> Talking about noise, what is that? <laughs> there are little birds everywhere. It's like that old movie. Calm down, Gabby. What's going on? <laughs> Many strange birds have appeared in the woods. They are very small. What do they look like? Mm, they are very small, and they have wine-colored heads and white breasts. Weird. I don't know what kind of birds they could be. Mm, well, <laughs> they are very small, mm. and they fly very fast. Mm -hmm. mm. Seguramente son algunos de los muchos pájaros que emigran aquí en Chiapas. Do you know anything about a bird with those characteristics? A bird with a wine-colored head and small? Not really. I know somebody who can help us. I can't wait to see these birds. You say they are bright and very pretty? They are very small. They are one color common birds. I think everything is ready for my trip. I have my camera and my bag is packed. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rufus hummingbirds are very pretty. 
Mm-hmm. They are difficult to find. Mm-hmm. They are quiet mm-hmm. birds, mm-hmm. not like noisy macaws. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? You look very tired. Mm-hmm. Oh, I couldn't sleep. That macaw, Tajari, mm-hmm. and her friends from the reserve, mm-hmm. they are very noisy. Mm-hmm. They eat food and nuts mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. Yes, macaws are very unpredictable and they can live from 40 to 50 years. So you have to be very patient. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about migrating like grey whales do. Grey whales migrate from the cold waters of the Arctic to the warm waters of Baja California. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. migrate in the winter. Mm-hmm. Yes, grey whales migrate to Mexico. They start their trip in October. It takes them between five and eight weeks to get to Magdalena Bay and the San Ignacio Lagoon in Baja California. They have their babies in the warm water. The mother whales suckle the babies until they're ready to leave. They remain there from December to April. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Billy. Um, maybe I can go to Baja California. I can rest on the beach and get some sleep. Are you leaving us? Just for a week. I'm going to see the magic of nature. I'm going to Guerrero to study some hummingbirds. I can't wait. What is a hummingbird? Es un colibrí, Gabriela. Cada año hay una migración de colibrís hacia Guerrero. Before you go, Billy, we need your help. Gabby saw thousands of strange birds in the woods. She says that they are very pretty and very small. Well, all birds are beautiful. It's an attack, like in that movie. They are everywhere. Oh. They are very frightening. Calm down. I need some answers. What do they look like? They are small, and they are very hard to see. They have red heads. And they have white breasts. Oh, oh, oh. Do you know what type of birds they are? Of course I know. Those little bears are the Rufus hummingbirds. Rufus hummingbirds? They're small hummingbirds. What do they look like? The Rufus hummingbirds have white breasts. They have long tails and a bright orange-red patch on the throat. They also have a Rufus face. Mm -hmm. What's a Rufus face? Rufus is a color. It's reddish-brown. What do they eat? They eat nectar from flowers and insects. The Rufus hummingbirds are always eating because they are very active during the day, and they sleep at night. Where do they live? They live in the forests of Northwestern America, from Southern Alaska to Southern California. They build their nests in the bushes. They're migratory birds. They have the longest migration route of all American hummingbirds. When and how do they migrate? What does that mean? Every year, during July and August, the Rufus hummingbirds fly from Northwestern America to other places. They fly to Mexico, for example. They travel more than 3,000 kilometers to stay in Guerrero, Mexico. Very interesting. But why are they here in Chiapas? They're supposed to migrate to Guerrero. It's because of the climate change. Unfortunately, climate change affects the migration of birds. That's true. The climate change is affecting all plants and animals. That's right, Doña Jimena. Climate change is affecting the routines of migrating birds and it conflicts with the birds' natural clocks and the environmental signals. Mm. So, are the rufous hummingbirds confused because of climate change? Yes, they're in the wrong place, but I'm pretty sure they'll leave soon. Why? 
because they always go back to their places of origin. Migration means that they come south, but they always return north. So, tell me, Billy, are they invaders? <laughs> of course not. They're here just for a while. Why don't you come with me so that you can see the Rufus hummingbirds more closely? <laughs> What's that noise? Huh? Punch is snoring. Do pandas hibernate like other bears? No, they do not hibernate. But they sleep a lot. They sleep up to 10 hours a day, two to four hours at a time during the summer month. Well, almost like Ixmal snaps. <laughs> 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 Hola. En la lección de hoy, aprendimos a decir las características de algunos animales y aprendimos a sustituir los nombres de los animales en plural por la palabra they. ¿Recordemos el relato de Pancho sobre la migración de la ballena gris? Gray whales migrate from the cold waters of the Arctic to the warm waters of Baja California. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. migrate in the winter. Mm -hmm. Yes, gray whales migrate to Mexico. They start their trip in October. It takes them between five and eight weeks to get to Magdalena Bay and the San Ignacio Lagoon in Baja California. They have their babies in the warm water. The mother whales suckle the babies until they're ready to leave. They remain there from December to April. Mm -hmm. Billy también habló de las características de los colibríes rufus, que migran más de 3,000 kilómetros desde Alaska hasta Guerrero. Fíjense cómo Billy usa they para sustituir a los colibríes. Do you know what type of birds they are? Of course I know. Those little bears are the Rufus hummingbirds. Rufus hummingbirds? They're small hummingbirds. What do they look like? The Rufus hummingbirds have white breasts. They have long tails and a bright orange-red patch on the throat. They also have a Rufus face. What's a Rufus face? Rufus is a color. It's reddish brown. What do they eat? They eat nectar from flowers and insects. Eso es todo por hoy. Recuerden que en esta lección aprendimos a hablar sobre las características de los animales, así como también a sustituir sus nombres en plural por la palabra they. Hasta la próxima.